today's video, we're going to hook up an orbit timer and replace this valve with this orbit timer. You got funny pipe on both ends. So let's take this over and take it apart to show you how to do it. So that's your standard orbit. One in, one out. So you got funny pipe on this end, but it's hose bib. Let's take this off. Okay. So that's your standard female to male hose. So you're going to put this on here. That one's easy. Not every home center has this style with the uh, this kind of barb fitting for the funny pipe. I like this because, in my opinion, it's much better than these kind that you, you get. These are common at Home Depot. These leak if you get too much pressure on it. These can stand more pressure without leaking. Okay, so this end is the harder end to do because it's got the female end on it. So let's take this off real quick. So you see that that's a hose bib fitting. Then I got a pressure reducer. Get it down to 25 psi. So that goes on there. Then the next part is how do you get this piece to be like that piece? So you convert it. There's a special little brass piece in here that you can get at the home center. that aside right here so this, this is a male to male converter we we'll change this fitting into a male hose so it's female it's the same on either end it's three quarter screw it in of course when you put it together you're going to want to use tape I've been using that Mega Lock Pace stuff. Works really well. Then you know you could screw this in if you don't have pressure. If uh, you don't have a pressure regulator, you could just screw it in. But I don't want to put too much pressure on this puppy. Screw it in, and then you would put this guy on talked about before down here you know once you have all that together it's just a matter of here's some funny pipe right here putting the funny pipe in this end and this end and then it's ready to go So it's, we're going to do a snippy snip here. Cut, we'll probably just unscrew that and pull this off. That's another good thing about these. These come apart real easy. If you need to make adjustments or changes or just take it down for the season. Just unscrew these and pull, pull the pipe out after you unscrew this. Um, this current setup, you know, no timer. So I have to come out here and turn this guy on or off. And I used this kind of valve because I had a lot of problems with leaking with using other kinds of valves where where they joined. Um, this one has those little inserts, plastic inserts. They're PVC glued in to the end of this coupling on both ends. That's how the funny pipe's running in there now. It's okay, but uh, I think this, this setup's way simpler. And it's going to be better because it's got the timer. And that's going to make a lot of difference. So why am I doing this? Because we we're going to do some drip irrigation on these rows of peppers and stuff. I got mostly peppers, but some blueberries right here. But 
orange. Just some peppers, a couple tomatoes over here. Sun's starting to rise up. It's pretty nice. But that's the reason. So that's funny pipe. The funny pipes on bamboo. Just between some stakes. And then we got just some drippers coming off. And then underneath we got um, these plastic trays. Look at that clover growing in there. It's crazy. Yeah. So uh, I just added this last row. It hasn't been hooked up yet. No irrigation on it. I had an extra one here, so I just ran it over. But uh, it's just doing a good job. You don't need to run this very long. You don't need to run it every day. Maybe every third day or so um, is pretty good. But that's going to be today's project. And we'll uh, wish you well if you try to do something like this or have your own ideas. God bless you. I'll see you next time.